Lance, it's great to have you on the show. Um, uh, thank you. Why are you launching this new concept? Why is that compelling now? Well, first of all, Morgan, thanks so much for having us on. And uh, we love to talk about our business and the industry. And, you know, when we went through COVID, the buffet was inherently not an off-premise experience. And we really didn't have a lot of access for our customers to be able to experience our brand. So we was in the early days of COVID, the buffet was under a tremendous amount of pressure. So we started thinking about what are other ways that customers can access Golden Crowd great comfort foods. And as we began working on it and we saw the pressures that our 14,000 square foot restaurants were under, we said, maybe we need to be thinking about a smaller footprint with better access, meaning drive-through windows and digital uh, access for guests. So that's where the idea originated. And we worked closely with our franchisees over the last year and a half to develop this, research it. And we're really excited. The first one will be launching in Southern Pines, North Carolina in uh, just a few short months. We opened open in, the, uh, in December. I mean, if you look at the stocks of publicly traded fast casual uh, chains, they're really having a moment right now. And I, I wonder what the economics of fast casual is versus the more traditional Golden Corral and if the demographic will be the same or different. You know, the demographics are going to change a bit. We're going for a little bit younger crowd and um, folks that are a little bit more on the move than our current demographics at Golden Corral. But I tell you, our economic uh, uh, conditions at Corral have been unbelievable. Uh, we're experiencing double-digit growth on top of double-digit growth last year. And uh, the buffet is alive and well, as they say. As Thank goodness God loves a buffet because uh, he saw us through the, the times in, uh, in COVID and we came out the other side in, in really great shape. But we feel equally as great about uh, Homer Kitchen and uh, the the inquiries we've gotten across the country are just amazing. We think it's going to be something that scales very quickly and, and really plays into a great uh, hand for us. How have you factored in inflation into the business? It sounds like consumers are continuing to turn out for Golden Corral. Have you had to raise prices? We have, but I will tell you, um, we've been much more conservative than almost anyone in our segment and certainly the industry one of our strategies early on in COVID was we said, look, we're not going to cut quality. We're going to make sure we maintain the highest levels of hospitality, and we're known for our variety and abundance. So all of that is off the table, but let's try to be as conservative as possible when we think about what we're going to do with our pricing. And so over the last three years, we've taken about, on average, 10% less price than anyone in our segment. Now, our ticket average, our cost per customer, is almost $3 less than our competitive set. So uh, where we were at par before. And so the only way that we were able to make that work is that we worked really hard on every line item on the P&L, whether it was food or labor cost or even things like insurance or energy management, so that we didn't always have to pass the rising inflationary costs that we were experiencing in food and labor onto our guests. And it's really paid big dividends for us because as I said, we've been north of 15% of the comp store sales increases this year. Huh. And the, the wonderful thing about that, Morgan, is that it's coming, um, a lot of it's coming in, in meal count increases, more customers coming in our restaurants. We're, we're positive meal count over last year. So um, we're seeing real growth, and that's so exciting for us, uh, for what the buffet has been able to experience this year. That is really fascinating, and it, it, it's a little bit contrarian to what we've heard from some of the companies, like the Chipotle's this week, for example, uh, but it sure sounds like it's working for you. Look forward to seeing how Homeward Kitchen performs, too.